we're here at the Boone Hall Plantation where films like North and South with Patrick Swayze were filmed. Also, Alex Haley's Queen and more recently, The Notebook was filmed here. So we're gonna go check that out today. But before we do, see what happened to us before. We missed our turn into the Boone Hall Plantation and in the process of trying to find a way to turn around, we found the Charles Pinckney Historical Site. And so we've come here to explore. We're gonna go check some things out here at this site. The Charles Pinckney Historical Site is where Governor Charles Pinckney lived. He was a statesman and a politician. He was a framer of the Constitution, um, also served in the U.S. House of Representatives. But this was his farm down in the Charleston area. And the buildings on the farm don't still stand, but they've done excavation work and have taken modern day bricks and marked where buildings once stood. And they've done research and rebuilt the house behind me. There are also, um, enslaved quarters, there's a well. There are beautiful walking trails here. It's just a really nice area to come and explore. With um, COVID precautions in the state of South Carolina right now, we're not able to go in and see any of the artifacts or the museum, but it's still a gorgeous area to see. can't find Scott. Scott, he just disappeared. He left me in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere to be found. I don't know where he went. I keep looking. I think this was the plot and plan all along. We missed our turn, but I think he really intended to leave me in the boonies at this historical site. Aha, I think I found him. His planning is no match for my smarts. Okay, truth be told, he just stopped to look at some sort of historical marker thing and I caught up. It's not really as scandalous as I made it sound. You can see where the cabins were. There's like um, bricks in the ground where they found the archeological re remains. And it says here that they didn't work like necessarily all day, every day. They, they did what they called the task system. So they were assigned like a half acre to work. And when that work was done, they could hunt or fish or whatever. So it was a, a different model than a lot of places had. Don't worry, I got good video footage of you being Scott. Now back to Boone Hall. We're back at Boone Hall Plantation. We're here at the Avenue of the Oaks. This is about a half mile stretch of oak trees that are hundreds of years old. Very recognizable, probably one of the most photographed areas in the South. You've seen it in TV and movies very uh, commonly filmed and photographed. Behind me is the big house at Boone Hall Plantation. While you're here, you can tour the bottom level. You can check out the gardens. You can see the slave quarters that are built here on site and learn about slave life and the Gullah culture, which is unique to the area. Very cool things to do. You can even ride on a wagon pulled by a tractor and narrated tour telling you about the agriculture of the land here at Boone Hall Plantation, a very cool place to come check out. Behind me are some slave quarters here on the property. The Boone Hall Plantation has done an incredible job putting together presentations about the Gullah culture and what slave life would have been like in the South. Um, let's go grab some lunch. Is that good? Yeah, I'm recording. 
Behind me is what's called the big house here at Boone Hall Plantation. This is actually the third house built on the property. The first two were just plain wooden farmhouses. Now this one was built in the 1930s and someone lived here full time until the 1990s. This is a privately owned plantation and the owners still live here on the property, just not in this space. You can actually go inside and have a tour of the main level. You can take a tour on the wagons here. They'll tell you all about the property, tell you about the history of who's lived here and what they're doing agriculturally to um, grow plants. They have tons of festivals that they host and you'll get to see some of those spots. You'll go by and see some of the slave quarters and you'll learn about that. You come up the Avenue of the Oaks, which is gorgeous, and you get to learn about who planted that. They'll give you a great overview of the property on this wagon ride. We've had a fantastic time here at Boone Hall Plantation today and we've learned a lot about what life would have been like here on this active plantation that still grows crops and produces things for the area even today. Uh, we encourage you to come check it out and see all that Boone Hall Plantation has to offer.